you. I hope you're doing great. I hope you had a safe Memorial Day. You guys will probably be seeing this a few days after Memorial Day. Um, but I just got done folding some laundry. I have my friend Lynn White on my TV right now in my room. I'm desperately trying to get motivated right now because I'm in a lull. I was already at the ranch this morning. I rode my horse. I did all my cleaning and chores over there. And now that I'm back home, I'm completely worn out, but I have things that need to get done here at home too. So I have a sink full of dishes. Um, I wanted to wash all my throw blankets that I used to cozy up on the couch and I got a new robot vacuum and I cannot wait to share it with you guys. This thing has a feature that I have not seen on any other robot vacuum before. So when I go down, I will share that vacuum with you guys and we'll let that run because I love when I'm doing laundry or running the dishwasher or running a robot vacuum while I'm doing other things. I'm a huge multitasker. I think it's how I'm able to get so much done in a day. Um, is strategic planning like that. So I'm gonna get the robot vacuum running out there and mopping at the same time. Um, and then I can kind of go around and do everything else that needs to get done. So I'm gonna get started on a few things before I have to go get the kids from school and then I'll have to press pause and then come back and then we will do some more. So if you guys need to get motivated today, let's just get it done together so we know that we're not alone in these house chores that seem to be just so repetitive and annoying at times. It's been four weeks since you called And I've been waiting here for you all along I've been waiting here for you all along Did you go? I wonder if you found what you're looking for. Wonder if you found what you're looking for. I hope it's not too late. I want you back here with me. We never should have said it's better this way. I'd rather be with you than someone I don't know. Now it's like we're living in two separate worlds. Come on back to me, say that you won't go. I can't cope without you and I wanna hold you close. Say that you won't go. Since I did not feel like cleaning today, I thought I would go ahead and start with the largest task first or at least the most important one that I wanted to accomplish before the end of the day. And that was this, la this last sink full of dishes from the day before. Um, I had already run a load and unloaded a load and then now I needed to do the last of what was left. I love to entertain, I love having people over, but it also just like takes it out of you. And sometimes I just can't get all the cleaning up done that same day so i did a lot of the big stuff just to get the house buttoned up for the evening and then i knew that i could just finish doing these dishes the next day so this was really important to me because these have already been sitting in the sink overnight so i just wanted to get this done and then that way i could scrub out my sink because i didn't want it to start to smell or anything i'd rather be with you I love using this combination of cleaners together, the Barkeeper's Friend and the Dawn Power Wash. Um, when I need to really come in here and get a deep scrub on this sink, my go-to is always Barkeeper's Friend. It really shines it up and brightens it up, um, but then the Power Wash really, really gets in there and cuts the grease. Um, so I just feel like these together are just so perfect for a nice deep clean in here. Um, and I also wanted to clean out my garbage disposal. Um, I've had these little tablets, they are called Plink. I get them at my local grocery store and they just kind of fizz down your garbage disposal. So I'm gonna go ahead and drop one of those down too. I'd rather be with you than someone I don't know. Now it's like we're living in two separate worlds. Come on back to me, say that you won't go. I can't cope without you.
downtown pretty late. I spent the week thinking about the next day. It was easier than so much easier than. So I made a mess in the kitchen on the floor, so I figured this would be a great opportunity to go ahead and run my new robot vacuum. So I'm so excited to share this with you guys today. And this video is sponsored by Verifa. So thank you so much to Verifa for sponsoring today's video. I wanted to give you guys a nice up close view of this robot vacuum. And I'm about to tell you why it is my favorite robot vacuum I've ever used to date. You can see this compartment here. This is a self emptying robot vacuum, which is so convenient because I can't tell you in the past with other brands, I have forgotten to empty it and it just caused like clogs and all kinds of things. So I love that this will actually go dock. It'll auto empty. It also has a built in mop right here and a water tank. So here is the water tank. And then I clip off the mop while it is charging, but Oh, hold on. Pause, recharge. My personal favorite thing about this setup though is it comes with a remote and I have never seen this before personally. Now this does have an app that I downloaded for free right from my phone and I can run um, this vacuum. I can schedule cleanups. I actually have my cleanups set up for 9 a.m. every single morning. So this thing will come do my whole downstairs for me um, and it'll actually mop, actually mop as well if I put the attachment on. But I love this remote here. So if I don't want to use my phone or I don't have my phone near me, I can run everything right off the remote right here. This is a spot clean button so you can go place it in an area that you want to spot clean and you can just hit this um, button here on the remote or you could always use the same looking button here on the robot vacuum itself and it'll just spot clean that exact spot. Um, you can do the suction power which I usually just leave it on um, just like a normal suction um, but you can actually control the robot vacuum using these arrows. So if you want it to go forward, backwards, right or left, you can do that. And then of course you can send it home. So I thought this was really neat um, and I've never seen it before. So I think it's very state of the art, just in the moment with technology. I think this is the newest that you're gonna see. So I'm gonna actually set this thing to clean right now and I can keep going and cleaning around the house. I will actually have a link to this robot vacuum down below in the description box. And if Verifa is kind enough to send me any discounts, I will be sure to ask. I will link all that down there as well. Let me know if you guys have used or maybe you have one of these in your home already. I am so far loving it. I've been using it nonstop, literally every single day, sometimes a couple times a day. Very happy with the performance, the suction. It doesn't get hung up on things a lot where I have to get up and fix it. It has done a wonderful job on my um, luxury vinyl plank and the carpet in my home. On rules, it was easier than so much easier than take me back to the take me back to those after I started my robot vacuum, I remembered that I needed to go wet the mopping pad that goes on the bottom of the robot. Um, this kind of just gives the mop a jump start, if you will, um, so that way it just stays nice and damp um, and it can get in and do a good mop on these floors. So since I did entertain the day before this, um, I did a really good cleaning on the floors and so this was more of a quick clean afterwards. Um, I don't put any type of cleaner in here because I don't want to ruin the machine, but you can definitely add some essential oils to the pad. I love doing that and it just leaves a nice clean scent behind. So I went ahead and pressed pause with the remote and threw on the mop pad and I'm just going to let it do its thing while I go ahead and keep cleaning. Used to say that you would always be mine, but you seem to be doing just fine. Now I think about you, I just can't seem to stop thinking. Anytime I get overstimulated when I entertain, I love to just do a nice reset on my home and get all the extra clutter up off the counters. Um, let me know if you guys are like that too. I love to plan stuff, I love to entertain, but it also just kind of like 
sucks the life out of you socially and I just need like a quiet time after. Um, and I loved to take that quiet time in a clean space to just kind of decompress and come down from all that had went on. Um, so I wanted to quickly dry these dishes, get them put away, just get everything put back where it needed to be that was just left on the counter. And then I want to wipe everything down. When we stopped at nothing, babe. Yeah, we stopped at nothing, baby. They couldn't take us. They couldn't change us. They couldn't catch us if they tried. No, we didn't care at all. By winter or spring or fall. We felt so alive. And girl, we were thriving on kisses and sunshine and mischief. Yeah, we had one of those things. So my favorite candle cracked. I was just moving things around too quickly and it fell over on the countertop and cracked the back of it. Um, I just couldn't throw it away. So I'm just going to burn what's left of it. Um, this was a gift. Um, I think it was from my mom or my sister. I'm trying to remember. Um, I think it's just from Target. It's a threshold brand, but I loved the container, the glass container that it came in with that fluted pattern on it. I just thought it was so beautiful. Um, and I had planned on keeping it even after the candle was finished, but unfortunately I broke it. So I'm definitely going to have to repurchase that candle. Um, it smelled amazing as well. I don't remember what it was called, but, um, you guys were probably like, why does she have a broken candle on her countertop? That is why it was almost gone. So I'm just going to enjoy what's left. The kitchen feels so nice. Look how nice and clean and shiny the countertops are. This seriously just makes my heart so happy and I feel like I can go to bed tonight just relaxed. Um, I also want to get my throw blankets thrown in the wash. I was passing them out to guests. Usually Memorial Day here is in the 80s, low 90s. And this year we were all using jackets and blankets with my outdoor heaters on um, it was so bizarre but since we had these outside and I was letting guests use them I'm going to throw them in the wash that way I can get them folded back up and ready to use again I 
outside on my porch right now and I wanted to ask you guys something, see if you guys want me to share this or not. But I want to make a few little updates to my front yard, most specifically right here in front of the patio. Let me step back so you can see. Um, so this all used to be covered with these. I don't know what they are, they kind of look like a daisy. But our drip system, something happened to it. I paid a lot of money to have someone come out and repair it and they never did it right. So all of this died and I had to just completely rip it out. Um, and then as you can see from all the rain this last season that we got, it completely bleached out like our wood chips and bark and stuff. So I'm thinking about planting three or four cabbage rose bushes. They are beautiful. I'll put one here on the screen in case you guys have never seen them. I'm thinking about planting some right here. They're, they thrive out here in our environment. And then I'm thinking my husband can just tap into the drip system and then pull it over to these. So that way they're all self-watering. Um, and then of course I wanted to get a new wreath and just clean all this up. Maybe get some other pillows and just kind of make this space a little bit more inviting than it is right now. I love these rocking chairs and I rarely, rarely ever sit out here, but I'm thinking if maybe I make this space just a little bit more inviting. Um, I don't know. Let me know if you guys would be interested in that. I'm also thinking about adding some raised garden beds to the backyard because I have some um, kind of awkward areas that I want to fill in. So um, yeah, it is the season for all the things. These are calla lilies. I got them from Costco. Um, we did have a kind of hot day the other day, so they're not happy right now, but I need to come in and clean these up clearly. So maybe I should do that really quickly while I'm here. But yeah, comment down below and let me know what you guys think. If you like the outdoor stuff, if not, no big deal. I can just do it on my off time. Um, but I know I really enjoy it. So that already looks 10 times better. There we go. I spend so much time in this backyard. It was high up on my priority list to whip this backyard back into shape, collect all the pool towels from the kids yesterday, straighten up and fluff up all the pillows and just put everything back where it belong. I also picked up a few new throw pillows for my outdoor couch and they are from Target. Um, they were only $15 a piece, which I feel like is a really good deal for outdoor pillows. Um, and I've been wanting to either swap out these um, fern pattern ones um, or add two. So I'm just going to add these to the couch. But I am on the hunt for a few more, maybe like a solid um, color, maybe like a dark blue or something. And then I can get rid of these green ones. But I just wanted to throw those on the couch and fluff it up, get everything um, just organized, put back where it belongs, tuck in all the chairs, and then I wanted to empty out our cooler from the day before and let the ice drain out, and then I can move all these drinks into our garage fridge, which I will have probably my next video. We will go in and deep clean and reorganize that one. It came out so nice and I completely restocked it. It's very satisfying. So make sure you guys subscribe and hit that bell before you leave today's video. But I love to just drain what um, ice melt is in the cooler into my planters and then that way my plants can soak up that water.
got a lot done. I feel so much better. Um, it's crazy to think that earlier I was so unmotiva unmotivated and I was just not feeling it. I did not want to get up and function today, but I love the after feeling. No one wants to get up and clean, but it is such a rewarding thing to do. So if you guys are not feeling it either, just think about the after. Even if you get up and just do like 15, 20 minutes worth of stuff, you feel so much better and you got more done than you did when you woke up this morning. So I just wanna share that, share that with you guys. Also, I mentioned a few videos ago that I wanted to share some news. Um, a few of you tried guessing in the comments what it was, but I didn't see anyone that guessed it. So I'm gonna share with you right now. Um, I was waiting till it was like a thousand percent happening, but it's about 95% happening right now. I'm really just feeling like it's the right thing to do. And I am just, tired I had to switch here but um, in my soul I feel like it's going to be the right thing to do even though I'm a little scared right now but we have made the decision and we thought about this for a very long time to begin homeschooling our children and I have some people with mixed emotions when I tell them that some of them are like a deer in headlights like you are absolutely crazy and I am feeling a little bit crazy um, but it's something that we've been talking about for a couple of years now and with my son going from fifth grade to sixth grade so from elementary to junior high um, I'm not a fan of our junior high and unfortunately some of the other schools we were trying to get into are very hard to get into like waitlisted so we are going to be homeschooling so the reason I'm sharing that with you guys is because that is going to probably affect my channel for like a second because I imagine there's gonna be some growing pains. As of right now, I post twice a week, um, so I'm not sure what the future is gonna look like with my videos. I don't know, um, I might have like a small shift in content and in what I share and when I share it, but I will definitely keep my channel going. This is um, something that means a lot to me. Um, so my channel's not going anywhere, but they're obviously, is gonna something is gonna have to change because a lot of my time will now be poured into homeschooling but I'm sure once we kind of figure out our new routine um, I'll be able to hopefully continue do my two videos a week but um, I'm gonna try and do this as seamlessly as possible if you guys homeschool please let me know in the comments I love to hear from you guys um, I've done a lot of digging on homeschooling in my state we will be homeschooling independently, so I'm really excited. But hopefully this will just give us like a lot more freedom and who knows, maybe I'm gonna have even more time to work because I'm not shuttling kids around town to go to school. My kids would technically now be going to two different schools, probably starting at different times, getting out at different times. So I really think this is all gonna be just a huge blessing in disguise. And I went from literally having a breakdown, I was like not myself there for a minute, to now just being so excited and the kids are excited and we're ready for it. So um, our school year here begins mid-August, so I'll probably stick with the school year um, that we would in like traditional school. And um, yeah, when I know more, I will share, but wish me luck. Go easy on me if you think I'm crazy, but that is the big news. Some of you thought that I was gonna have a baby. Some of you guys thought that we were moving. Anyways, I don't wanna go on and on and on over this, but thank you so much for watching. If you guys enjoyed this, please make sure you like and subscribe before you leave today. Also, I will have Varifa um, tagged and discounts, links, everything down below for you um and let me know if you guys check them out let me know if you end up getting one i've been so happy with it i've been using it non-stop it is definitely my new shiny favorite toy but i'll see you guys in the next video thank you again love you bye friends <laughs>